Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans or I should say Where the Heck Have the Albans Been. Um, I'm sorry we've had some uh, technical difficulties. I can't talk today. Even my mouth has technical difficulties today. Um, what's been going on? Um, uh, I had problems with the computer. Got that all fixed. But Second problem is we, I, I never really noticed it before. I hadn't been uploading to my computer as much as I should with some of the videos that we've been doing. And we have been shooting a lot of stuff. Anytime the battery dies or I have to change the battery, the date refers back to, it just automatically resets to 1-1 of 2020. What a pain in the rear. Most cameras have a little internal battery inside that just keeps that date intact. Not my camera, of course. Um, so when I go to upload videos, it gets confused because it's always reverting back. And so some videos are mixing in with other videos and things like that. And it's, it, oh my gosh, it, it took me forever to straighten everything out. So I apologize for not... Uh, uploading a video uh, this past week like we were supposed to but um, and before I uh, go any further I just wanted to mention a family they sent us uh, a congratulation card in uh, our P.O. box um, and it reads Alban family congratulations on reaching 7,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel we live in I'm not gonna say where they live um, and we frequently watch your videos and we make travel plans based on them. Uh, thanks for making the videos. If you have never traveled to Union, Illinois, we wholeheartedly recommend a trip to the Illinois Railway Museum. Best wishes, best wishes for a terrific future. Uh, kindest regards, the Mulvilles. Corey, Jesse, Emma, Madeline, and Evan. And Casper the dog. Hey, Casper the dog. <laughs> so thank you, Mulvilles, uh, so much for this sweet card. Uh, and thanks for sending us to us. Uh, that We really, really appreciate uh, getting stuff like that and hearing from you folks. Um, and yes, we have heard of Union, Illinois. As a matter of fact, we were supposed to go there um, during 19, or 2019, 2020, uh, when the um, COVID struck. So... They closed down, uh, they went there, scrapped that plans. We had too many things going on this summer. So next spring, next summer, we will definitely hit that railway uh, museum in Union, Illinois. It's a fantastic place. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And I can't wait to go back to it as well. It's been, I think the kids were little, little, like Vivi was like maybe one year old or two years old. So she doesn't even remember it. Um, and with that being said, without further ado, here comes part two of our trip to uh, Fair Oaks Farms in Fair Oaks, Indiana. Uh, I'm just going to want to warn you on this one, too. Might get a little, just a little graphic for more sensitive viewers. We are going to see a baby calf being born. That's right. And, you know, we're up close and personal, sir. Okay, so... Uh, if you get a little squeamish or anything like that, just letting you know. Uh, but we also very, uh, visit the dairy part, which is very, very interesting. Some of the audio was a little garbled, um, because a lot of the stuff is, um, over speakers on a bus, things like that. So I'll be doing a little bit of voiceover work, uh, on that as well. Okay. So without, uh, further ado, here is part two of Fair Oaks Farm. Here's all the cows. So here is Fair Oaks Dairy Adventure. A dairy good time for the family. So we're about to walk into the cow fay. <laughs> but we're pretty thirsty, so we're gonna get something to drink. And this is the cow fay. They got, they got magnets, gifts, and all sorts of stuff. cheese of all kind and they make all their cheeses here most of them yeah all 
So when we brought the girls here many, many years ago, there was just this building here, uh, the birthing center for the cows, this building, and then the cafeteria. But now they've got this huge restaurant here called the Farm Table. And on the other side of this, uh, they got a big building shaped like a barn, and that is the Marriott Inn and Suites. So we got hooves. Just a warning, this may be graphic. <laughs> but look at, here's our little, here's a little girl that was just born. And a little boy over here. Oh my goodness, they are so sweet. Look at her, oh. Okay, so you gotta be quiet. She is in labor, and we actually have hoofs coming out right now, so the baby's not too far behind. Oh, she's having another big contraction. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, almost. Come on, almost there. Yes, yeah, so this is a very, very interactive farm where you can, you can see the process of life from the very beginning. She is worn out. And if any of you mothers know and have had a baby, you can understand what she's going through. Oh, she's pushing hard. She's got a good push going. Oh my goodness. It's the hardest this cow's ever worked in her life, right here. We're gonna, she's gonna check to make sure it's not breech. It's coming out the right way and kind of give her a little help. be happening here. <laughs> no, she did her part. She she she, she was good. She was just making sure that everything was okay. She broke the bag of water. No, no, she said that now she gets the strap. Alright. Okay, things are going to happen real quick here now. Oh, she's moving in there. Trying to help get the head out. What's that? They come out feet first, right? She's trying to get the head out. 
And then once the head's out, then the rest of it will just kind of slip right out. There it comes, yeah, yeah. See the head's out. Here it comes, oh boy. Come on, little one. <laughs> and it is alive and well and eyes open already. Look at that. Oh, yay. That's excellent. Sitting there right there going, what the heck just happened? <laughs> <You're always people>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. She is. And she's gonna try to get up just about right away. Mom's gonna have to turn around, and start licking her, and uh, stimulate her a little bit. But she needs a break. <laughs> he's already, he already just did his first move. Oh, good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the birth of a cat, right there. These lady buildings are called freestall barns and we'll be driving through one soon. We call them freestall barns because the cows are not confined within the pens. They pick their own most of them to get sick. After about eight weeks, the calves are eating over eight pies of mixed ration that contains grain, butter, and mineral mix. On both sides of the road are cat pushers. Bull calves are sold, but all the calves that are heifers, which means they're females, become milking cows. Shortly after they're eating out. more than eight pounds of grain <laughs> ration, the heifers will be moved to a heifer raising farm until they are ready to rejoin them already pregnant and entering into the last stage of their milking cycle. Normally, cows become pregnant three to four months after calving and milk until they are seven months pregnant. This means a cow's milking cycle is about ten months long. When a cow is seven months pregnant, she begins her 60-day dry cow period. I'm sure you've noticed the sand beds. I, I promise no such thing as no inclines today, but yes, there are a lot of stairs. <laughs> Now they have a robotic dairy, pretty much fully robotic. That's crazy. So uh, the lady that was talking uh, during this part, it echoed so bad in there, you couldn't understand a word she was saying. So this is the, the cows uh, where they're able to free roam and pretty much go anywhere they want in this building. Uh, this is a dairy barn. As you can see, one of these cows are, are actually going through a gate. That one just got milked, and uh, it's going into another area, to the feed area. Um, each one of the cows has a, a chip in its ear, uh, and it can open certain gates uh, but they're only allowed to eat like three times a day. So sometimes they can go in there and it won't open because, hey, you've already eaten. Um, but then they can walk over to the dairy whenever they decide they need to get milked. Um, and uh, they say that they can go into this, uh, into that milking area as many times really as they want. But uh, they usually go in there maybe uh, anywhere from between four to six times a day. 
there are some yellow brushes. I don't know if you can see them back there. Uh, those are to clean them and give them scratches. Those big fans in the back there are just there to help circulate air. Uh, and then uh, and these are all the cows that are just standing in line waiting to get milked. And it's all automated. And that's what we're going to show you next. Uh, but uh, it's all done by computers. A human hand does not touch any of these cows. And uh, here's the uh, the computerized uh, thing. So let's go on to that. It's like the fact that if they wanted to get brushed, they go over by the big brushes over there and the chip that they have in, uh, in their ear just automatically starts it rolling. <laughs> That's awesome. These are the sand beds where they can just take it easy. And... So here's uh, one of those where it, uh, the computer is saying how many gallons and pounds. Uh, and that's for this cow right here. There is a blue light, so that means it is milking. Look at that one, it's doing it automatically. So what it's doing, that arm right there, is it's sanitizing each one of the, the teeth and then it's drying them off. And then, uh, and then it grabs on and the suction takes over. So there it is, there's a picture. Becky just pulled it up on the pad. They have a pad here so you can see different angles and things. But that's where, uh, Right there, where it, uh, where it, they're milking it. They're milking it, yeah. Okay, so the council shows you all the different camera angles. Yeah. And right now, she is she's currently pumped 1.4 pounds of milk. Of milk, and that's for each teeth. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna give out 30 pounds. 30 pounds in one. Roughly. Roughly. The last time she came, or last time she got milk, she gave off 26.7 pounds. Wow. So here's the cow that was born. We just came off of our dairy tour, and it's been about an hour and a half. About an hour. About we an hour? 228. Oh, 228. Okay. But uh, here she's giving her some, her nurse is giving her some milk there. She was hungry. Welcome to the world, baby girl. Yeah. That was amazing, though. And now this one's going to give birth today. She's got her own camera up there too. And, uh, but, uh, she's just starting. So there she is. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There's the proud mama. And there's the big proud mama. She looks like she's, she's right exhausted. Yeah. She had a hard day today. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He's already up walking. Born at 10:41, just a couple hours ago. These guys are so not advanced. Him. Just adorable. It took him a year, a year. Look at him off. looking at just. Look at he's like, what's going on? Who are you guys? As of right now, the only people you've seen are pretty. Look at this. Do have pumpkin patches out here? They do have uh, an apple orchard out here, and you can. Uh, they, oh, they also have the vegetable garden available. Uh, and it's a you pick thing. So you go out and you can fill up your 
buckets and baskets and and uh, we got flower fields, all sorts of stuff. Okay, and over there, that's the barn that I was talking about, the big barn. Uh, that's the new restaurant over here. Farmhouse. And then farmhouse. the farmhouse, it's called. And then that's Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott at Fair Oak. So they built this huge uh, hotel over there, and uh, shaped like a barn. So, yeah, so uh, Fair Oaks. I had a good time here today. <laughs>